Hey guys, Bob here. Uh, so what's my go-to 4K UHD Blu-ray player? Well, I'd say I have to go to the Pioneer uh, UDP LX500. It That thing is built like a tank and it um, the components are so much heavier than I have owned several 4K players. And um, some of them were, I've owned a, a Panasonic and I've owned the Sony uh, 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 is a UBP X800. Sorry, I had to got, had to look. And I also have had um, a Samsung, a couple of different Samsung models. And one thing about all those other ones is they've always felt cheap. Um, they worked fine for the most part. I mean, the Samsungs didn't particularly have a long life to them, but they've generally worked fine. But the Pioneer, that thing is built like a tank. The disc tray opens smoothly. You can tell all the components in the thing are heavily built. Now, it comes with a heavier built price tag too, as this uh, player lists for like 1200 bucks. But I I got lucky and I found mine. Um, somebody had special ordered special ordered one, and it turned out they didn't want it. And so I uh, um, ended up buying it as they were just set, selling it for like three hundred bucks to get rid of it. It was brand new; it had never been used. But um, I got lucky there. But. As far as quality wise and everything, I mean, the image the disc, the player spits out to the TV through, of course, you have a receiver and all that stuff that, that play a part in it, but the image is solid. Um, the sound and everything that is crisp, again, a lot of this is dependent on the receiver and uh, the components that you have in your sound system or your home theater system, but it's what I have on my main system. It works well i've never questioned the um the quality of the playback or anything it's all been good the uh the player itself is built very heavily and i would recommend it to uh anyone Typically, no, I don't use a different player for my DVDs or my standard Blu-rays. Um, I do have a PS4 and an Xbox One hooked up to the uh, same system, uh, sound system and everything that the uh, 4K player is. Uh, it's an original Xbox One, so it doesn't have the 4K disc capabilities to it. But um, those, I have played 4K discs and then before, or not 4K discs, just standard Blu-rays and then before, uh, they work well. Um, but for me, the quality is just a step up when you use the Pioneer LX500. Um, I basically, I use the, uh, PS4, the, or the Xbox for, uh, my, uh, my apps and stuff like a Vudu or Netflix, Disney Plus, what have you. That's, generally, I use them more for my media center and then um, the Pioneer player I use for physical media. There are several new releases coming out uh, this fall that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, of course, Friday the 13th box set from uh, Scream Factory. Uh, the Irishman's getting released from Criterion. Uh, the original Mad Max is getting a uh, 4K Blu-ray release from Kino Lorber. Um, of course, the Resident Evil films are getting a 4K release box set. I mean, there's several things that I am looking forward to uh, acquiring and eventually reviewing for you guys. That's all I've got for this video. Uh, I just want to answer a few questions for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content in this video, please give me a like. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Just search for Bob the Film Guy. And for now, this is Bob signing off.